Yo, what is going on, all you handsome gamers? Merk back here, and today I'm bringing you a new series that uh, I've really wanted to do for a long time. So, um, a lot of people ask me when I stream on video comments, stuff like that, is, you know, how can I get better at anchoring? And that's such a hard question, right? So, what I tell them all the time is you have to pay attention to where your teammates are, right? Using the minimap. You have to pay attention to the time. Now, I could tell you where to go where most anchor positions are but in the end it's really about each each situation each play it all comes down to decision making so uh i've thought of a series coach merc um where i'm gonna show you a gameplay in theater of a team scrim of a tournament i think this was of a tournament uh this was a really close game uh this is a one of the better am teams we played in 360 icons tournament and uh, it went down to the wire, but I'm just going to go through kind of my thought process. If you guys uh, have been sub to me since MW3, you all remember my how I play S&D, stuff like that. It's just really what I was thinking at the time. But uh, you might see me choke. You might see me, you know, <laughs> go huge. But anyways, I'll just go through my mind process throughout. So off the start of uh, Yemen on the, this is the better side because you can, your teammate can jump right behind the barrel. Uh, I usually go church. Now, my goal kind of is to get to the top street, right? Because after this hill, uh, we got a tree house. And for tree house, let me turn the game a little bit. Uh, for tree house hill, you want statue control. So we try to push around the purple. It's like a rotation, really. So right now, it's still pretty early. So 40 seconds, and I'm just protecting the hill. I accidentally shot Scump, I was just pre-firing, I thought he was just going to stay on it, that was just my decision. I saw this guy to the right, it's so really hard, you can't shoot through that. I tried running, it didn't work. So 26 seconds, I look at the clock here and I start rotating, right? I have to get the statue to purple, purple control is huge on this map. I would say that purple control is probably the most important building. So their anchor was backing up as well and he got me. That's what anchoring comes down to, right, is those 1v1 gunfights, uh, because really those control spawns. Luckily enough, I was spawn street again. He took out bait timer, but I picked him up. So this allows me to get statue control. They rotated another guy back, but my whole team's coming now, and now we have spawns up top. Now, the reason we want spawns up top here is because the next hill is top fruit. It would be completely different if the next hill was church, stuff like that. But his lightning strike cleared us out. Now, my teammates are probably going to go middle arch or help me rotate again. Uh, Natehot's pushing down low, and he's rotating again. And I'm taking my time. See, with 30 seconds left, I'm almost... They're giving up on the hill. So, I lost it, and we're like... We made a decision here. We're like, we'll just push this hill and take our time. I think someone might have streaks, maybe... Uh, maybe Skump does, if not. But we're making a team push here, and we're going to go from statue. So we're still getting bad spawns. Now, what I would usually do, what I'm probably going to do, yeah, I'm going to go up to the left street and try to flank them. Uh, because really you want to spread out. You want to go from all different directions and try to make a play happen. That's really important. But this guy spawns behind me, so I should spawn closer. But like I said, we start off really slow in this game. Uh, we don't get much control, but then we start to get that control. And it's really hard as an anchor if you don't can get control first because you're an AR player. You can't set up. You you keep running. You get into a lot of one-on-one -on -one gunfights with SMGs because their players are set up. But uh, we went. We had three down. And right away, just by looking at my mini map, I know they're gonna spawn statue. I saw we spawned on this right street, and the only place we weren't was statue. With 25 seconds, we're gonna start rotating again. I say Churchill is probably the most important hill on this map. Uh, it's very easy to lock down. You just, as an anchor, you want to try to get to the backside. Um, this guy was ahead of me. I was just trying to stay alive and wait for my team. Uh, it was unfortunate. And again, as an anchor, it comes down to finding. It's basically hide and go seek. If you ever heard me rage on my stream about hide and go seek, this is what I'm talking about. It's looking one way and hoping he doesn't come the other way. Just trying to find the enemy anchor to determine spawn. So again, my team is very far oh, it's not a regular game. Uh, across the map. And they're just gonna try and force the jump up and I'm gonna try and stay alive. Um, just with the shotgun. Someone's in the hill and I four spawns. See I did what my job and got the spawn because I cleared out the back. 
So at 37 seconds, I saw someone push middle street, so I'm just going to keep continuing to watch this left side. And we have hill control. So we did a very good job at breaking that hill. Uh, 25 seconds left. Uh, and I'm probably going to start rotating here. Again, the next hill statue. So what do you want to control top fruit stand? Uh, like I said, that's majority of the hills are on that top side. It's pretty crazy. They didn't put another one like... I don't know where they could have put another one. Maybe on this side house or something to, to kind of freshen it up. Because if you think about it, that's what a lot of people think about this map is the problem is all these hills are up top. So it's very hard to rotate. So hide and seek again. I found their anchor before he found me, and I got to spawn. Scumpy spawned right next to me, and my teammate should be able to get this hill, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I know the spawns, and I figure their anchor is going to try and flank again. And there, I picked him up. So I know I have about... You know, maybe a 10 second window here that nobody is going to come to this top side. So I'm going to camp middle stairs. Um, I should have probably backed up to purple here. But yeah, well, I saw my teammate do it. He picked up purple staircase, so I'm watching the middle staircase. If my teammate wouldn't have spawned there, I would have just kept backing up there. So 20 seconds again, and I'm rotating. Now, um, this is, you always have to pay attention to time in minimap, like I said. Um... I would say just controlling this part of the street is very important for the hill uh, because you have you just watch purple and middle arches I mean it's pretty easy and there's a lot of head glitches but right here I'm just getting top control again it's repetition as an anchor to always have control of this top part of the area because there's three hills up here it sucks but it is what it is so here I was able to get my streaks I saw that they have one more player. I'm kind of taking my time. Miss a shotgun shot. Miss All right. So, again, pay attention to the minimap. This should be coming from purple and middle arches, which my teammates are watching middle arch, and I'm going to watch purple. Hard point contested. And I'm just going to make sure we have control again. Um, a lot of people wonder, you know, if I like anchor. I don't mind it. I just hate that one kill can determine a hill. Uh, like again, just hiding your seek back and forth. If their anchor finds me first, then they get control of the hill. If I find him, we get control. So then I should have stayed alive. Probably not challenge that gunfight. Uh, luckily enough, there's 10 seconds left on this hill, so I still have time to rotate. And I picked off their anchor. Oh, there's a lot of talking. So the whole team's rotating. We're doing a good job. I think I tried a war machine here. Yeah. So I use a war machine just on Yemen because there's a lot of close, closed-in areas like church this hill. It's mainly to get church. We got flanked here. I don't know where he came from, but we still got top spawn luckily. And I just had to try and pick this guy off. Uh, I'm pretty sure this goes to the last hill. That was a really good shot. He must have been weak. And I, uh, I did a good job. Killing the two guys that are helping them. Somebody called that guy out. And there was another one. <laughs> now I spawned all the way across the map. But there's still 20 seconds, so I still have time to get to top fruit. So it's not a big deal. And the biggest thing is... Um, I have streaks. We can break this. Scump has streaks. So I didn't have to worry as much about... Rotating because you have streaks, it's pretty easy to break a hill. So I know they're coming right street because where my teammates are positioned, statue top middle, that's the only place left, and my teammates are spawning statue. So on this hill, you usually want to anchor in the hill because there's lots of head glitches, it's good for ARs. <sighs> and um, yeah. Unfortunately, we lost that. We lost top middle. Top middle is probably the most important area. And I'm going to waste my streak here. I'm pretty sure I keep my Hellstorm for the last one. This is a big 30 seconds here if I'm able to pick this up. Because this basically makes it pretty hard for them to catch up with only two hills left. It's about a 60 second difference. And one hill is 60 seconds. So if they control uh, Churchill, then they'll be fine. But hopefully we break it. I forget. So I'm just holding this, waiting to see if any spawners try to kind of interrupt hard point that hill. Hostiles have the hard point. And because we don't have control, again, I, this is why they jumped in. I, I'm pretty sure I called that out. Luckily, this guy had flat jacket on, but this is what I use the war machine for. I just kind of pell bullets in there, try to pick one off. 
But they were doing a very good job of avoiding. <clears throat> and it looks like they're going to get majority of this hill. We're spawning up top. It takes a long time to go around and try and kill them. Uh, I think we push one more time. Because if we get these last 30 seconds, uh, it's over, right? So you have to always pay attention to time, how many hills are left. So I got positioning. I'm going to try and make a play, but... There was one more in there, and they got that whole hill. I think they honestly hit the lead. So we're set up early because we lost control. It's the last hill of the game. I still have my health swarm, and we're killing them. So that's good because they're going to spawn on their hill guy. <clears throat> now, I would be up top, but this is where I flank up top. Uh, I would have went up top, but I saw someone was up there, and I'm doing a job here. I think this kid gets crapped on. Yeah, it does. So I'm just going to keep going. I call out that they might have split spawn. Uh, they might have split someone because where my teammates spawned, I noticed that. And Matt does a great job here of hiding. And as you see, all four of them are on there. Now, I should have got three there, but I don't know. But Matt did a great job of hiding. I don't know where the hell he was. <laughs> but I knew they were going to split spawn where my teammates spawned. Uh, because he spawned at the treehouse. Not the treehouse, the, the two-story building. Uh, they spawned up top and down low. So you have to pay attention again. The map is key. And, uh... They did a really good job controlling that that last Churchill, but we were able to pull it out in the end. So um, that's kind of my mindset. Coach Murray, Episode 1. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope all the anchors out there, this helps you out. But uh, that's all. I hope you guys have a great day, and you guys remember to stay handsome.